Hi everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are creating bunting from our triangles that we have made before. So I have made them and I have blocked them in previous videos so please do go and have a look at that. So I have wisteria as the main colour. So in wisteria you're going to do a slip knot and we are going to start chaining. Now you need 100 or 200 chains um, to start with so that you have something to tie your uh, work with your to tie your bunting up with so I am just going to five <laughs> six seven eight nine ten I will continue in a moment so I have used wisteria I've used violet and boysenberry and like I said the video for the triangle is in um, a couple of days ago I think that came out so make a chain of 200 chains I will see you when you have that I am back <laughs> I have lost count basically <laughs> I don't have to tell you this, I could just pretend there's 200, but I have no idea how many there are now. <laughs> I lost count somewhere at 165. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter, to be honest, how long, but I just want to have a nice amount to be able to tie it to something. I don't know where I'm going to tie it to, uh, but I don't mind. I just, you know, a nice amount there. So then we are here and I have put them as you can see alternatively so that they are nicely divided and you take the first one and you are simply going to pick up or into the opening here and you do a single crochet then you pick up the V on top of the three double crochets of the cluster then two single crochets in the chain space then three by going into the stitch, two into the chain space, three by going into the stitch, and a third one, and two into the chain space. See, it's very simple. Three on top of the double crochets, two in the chain space and another three and then one more here so we do one single crochet on each side so one in the chain space on one side one in the chain space on the other side to make our triangle nice and straight so that now means our little flag is attached to our chain so now we are going to do chains again, but of course you have to decide how many you want to do in between. And again, I can tell you, yeah, do 50 or do 10 or do 2 or do whatever. Um, I'm not counting now, but I shall count them in a moment. You do however many, however much you want for the distance. Okay, so if you decide, maybe you want the distance of a flag in between, you can do that. So you have to go all the way to there. Maybe it just half one do that um obviously the more space there is between the long you know the longer your whole thing is going to be if you have an idea of where you're hanging it then measure that and make sure that that is the length that you need um and then sort of make it so that your flags are not too far apart or further apart or whatever so this essentially is how you're going to do this with obviously whatever length you want to start with and whatever length you want in between but this is the way you are going to pick up your stitches for attaching your triangles so I hope you have fun uh, with this I have got some pictures of some bunting that I will show you after this video and as you can see Leila had to inspect my bunting and she was really curious about what I had made and also she wanted to block it <laughs> Yeah, she flattened them a little bit more. <laughs> but here 
of the bunting when I put it up in the park. So I went and had a little stroll and I put it um around the bush and around some trees. It was really nice. It looked really nice and festive and I had lots of people looking at me what I was doing but yeah this is the bunting and I always like taking pictures of things like this in nature because it makes such for such a nice background don't you agree so this is our park and I enjoyed making this bunting thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye